Okay, on this uh, chapter we are going to trace uh, uh, a panoramic in order to uh, to have a nice image of a panoramic of our patient. So let's get going. Uh, very easy, and I think it uh, can be more easy than that. Uh, you simply click on the different uh, on the left icon here. You click on CPR. Then, depending on on what you want to emphasize, in our case, we want to emphasize in both. So it doesn't really matter if I choose mandibula or maxilla. But sometimes you want to uh, to see the upper part or only the the bottom part. So in that case, bottom part mandibula. So let's choose this one. Um, then you see that the views are slightly changing. We used to have uh, four views if we had 3D. Now we have only three. Here we're going to have our panoramic, but first, in, before tracing, uh, we need to uh, to change the angle in order to have a nice arch. Uh, this is uh, very, very important because you will see that we have an automatic detection uh, system that will detect uh, exactly the right shape of the, the arch. Then I can zoom. This will make the, the recognition software a little bit more easy for, for us. And uh, if I click automatic, as you can see, I have um, already my tracing that is done almost automatically. Now, before clicking OK, I would like to apply some changes just to be sure. I get, for example, the ATMs. This is it, for example. Or I can even move slightly uh, the, the curve in order to be sure that everything is going to be inside. This is uh, quite okay right now. Uh, and um, once you're done, uh, you only click OK. Now, uh, I've done several uh, panoramic myself in the past, and um, I have my setting of sensitivity already set. Uh, it might be that if you do it for the first time, this sensitivity setting is uh, not yet uh, well configured, but I can assure you that if, if you do it uh, once and you have your sensitivity just okay for your first panoramic, on the second one, due to, of course, uh, ounce field calibration, you will get the similar setting and, uh, and you won't have to do it again. So, OK, so let's click OK. And here we have uh, uh, another view now. Uh, we have uh, uh, 3D that we can, for example, uh, if we show the surfaces, then you can see which one uh, it's which. For example, you, you see here the, the green curve is, uh, is exactly the curve of my panoramic. And as you can see, it's like uh, sheet of paper that has been folded to create an image, a 2D image. Now this is a uh, quite interesting image already and you can uh, can be good enough to do some diagnostics and at least to get a good idea of the dentition of your patient. You can, uh, with the wheel mouse, if I apply wheel mouse you can see that the image is changing. If you look just at the curve right now uh, and I come here and I move the wheel mouse, as you can see the curve will go inwards and on the other side go outwards. So that means that you have here a dynamic image that you can uh, you can really move. It's not a, a dumb panoramic where you have simply your image. Um, furthermore, uh, it doesn't look enough like a real panoramic so I can change here some presets. I can click on Bone 1 and I can uh, apply some st strong sharpening filters and there you go you get something that looks like a panoramic of course uh, the target here is not to create a panoramic that is exactly the same is is to in fact simply uh, provide the same type of language uh, as a panoramic has um, now the last thing we need to do is to have cross sections uh, because in fact the purpose of this panoramic is exactly to be able to give cross sections um, that is what, what we're looking for because on the next step we are going to look for implant planning uh, cross section can be uh, found easily you just come here and you can change anything that you want from longitudinal to uh, horizontal, for example, the right one, I guess, would be this one. Excellent. As you can see, I have many more settings. My screen is not that big, so I would, um, 
if I would have a bigger screen, I would go maybe by uh, or a five by five or five by one, where you have five images like that. So uh, looking good. I can, as you can see, I can zoom. And uh, oh, that's something diff rather strange here. Why? Because in fact, if I move the cursor here. Uh, you will have all the three images that are um, updated. Here I can see there is one millimeter difference between every image. Uh, so if I, for example, I'm interested in uh, one incisor in particular, I can click very precisely and then I have plus and minus one millimeter on, on each side. So if, of course, if I modify and I have to do uh, um, a five by one, for example, uh, then I have a little bit more, uh, so I have two millimeters here from the point that I, uh, I've indicated to the to the software, and uh, quite a good tool because you can simply click everywhere you want, uh, and you will have always the right image updated, and um, any image can be uh, changing contrast. You will see that the other ones uh, also change the contrast, and you can apply the same tools as we have always been using so far, uh, which are in fact the 2D tools on these images. Uh, so next, uh, I deleted this. Next, uh, next thing is in fact, uh, as you can see, we have um, some good uh, site here for putting implants. So the idea now is to to place an implant on uh, on. Uh, on this side here. See you next chapter.